That's a legal document. Well, sue me. Glad to be out of this house. Never wanted to move here. That was all you wanted to live on the posh side of the street. Oh, so it's all my fault, is it? The trauma of moving house drove you into the arms of your best friend's wife. The better luck after this divorce, you'll be living in a cardboard box. Do I know you? Uh, I, I don't think so. Rosie? What? I mean, do you not go to that bar, um, Seafood Deep, just after... Just get on with it. Can I take a look upstairs? No. Yes. Well, we can keep an eye on him. Well, go on, then. You can't do anything, you know. We have rights. This is our family home. Oh, you should have read that properly before you ripped it up. Do you have a brother? Why are you doing this? It's what you want, innit? What? All out war? I've got to look after my son. And to hell with your daughter? No, to hell with you! Please. Two minutes. Find your drink at the bar. No. Thanks. Look at me. Please tell Listen, me. Listen, Becky. I didn't do it. Come on, baby. You know me now. I say, if I'd have done it, she wouldn't be lying in a hospital bed. She'd be six feet under. I'm telling you the truth here. I just need to know that you believe me. She's identified you. Do I really need to answer that one? Well, it's your word against her, isn't he? I know. That's why I need you on my side. I am. <laughs> we'll get your lawyer. <sighs> get us a good one. Hello. Hey, come here, you. Right, listen. Becky has got to go away, but it's only for a little bit. So you're going to be here with Uncle Stevie and you're going to be a good boy for him, right? And I'll tell you what, I'll be home soon, OK? Promise. We've not got all day. Look, this is a mistake. I know Becky did Claire Bester, you see? Right, come here, my brave girl. I love you. And I always will. Mm-hmm. <laughs> OK. Oh, all right, all right, you don't have to touch her. She's not going to run away. Is that my hair I'm worried about? You know she's been sniffing around the butchers, hmm? She's planning to open another salon around the corner, put me out of business. I'm confident you can take care of yourself, Mother. Oh! I wouldn't put it past her to have rigged this competition, you know. I mean, doesn't it look suspicious to you? Local hairdresser wins free hairdo in posh salon. Breathe easy, New Year's assault suspects. Becky McDonald has just been arrested for GBH on Tracy Barlow. Really? How do you know? I've just seen her been put in a cop car now. Are you sure? Yeah. Apparently, when Tracy woke up this morning, first thing she said is that Becky had done it. So it gets us off the hook. Oh, David, you were never on the hook. I thought she'd done it. I thought he'd done it. <laughs> we didn't want to worry you. Did you really attack him with a lump of wood? I didn't oh. hit him. Only because Jason stopped you! I was locked in the van! I got claustrophobic and I flipped out. He was having a flashback. I was not having a flashback. What are you talking about? Flashbacks? Oh, I was remembering films that I'd seen before. I think it was um, Star Wars. Yeah, the first one. I mean, the original first one, part four. <sighs> He thought he was back in Afghanistan, that's why he came out fighting. Is this true? Yeah. Yeah, I thought Owen was Osama Bin Laden. And my dad's a qualified psychiatrist. Oh, Kevin, come on, let's stop playing games. Okay, you give the word. This could all be over. Okay. Cards on the table. I didn't sleep with Tyrone. I let you think I did because I wanted to hurt you. You what? I wanted revenge. I thumped him! I was there! You lied to me! Oh, come on, Kevin. It's not the crime of the century. After all the lies I've had from you, all I did was let your filthy mind run away with itself. Yeah, you still stayed the night. Yes. Because Tyrone is a good friend and he, more than anybody, knows how it feels to be betrayed by somebody you trusted. All right. So whose idea was it to let me think you'd been at it? It was mine. Because Tyrone is a better man than you. And he's a nicer person than me. Ooh, say that again. So can we call a truce for five minutes? You never slept with Tyrone? No, I didn't. OK, well, we can start again. We don't have to do this. But it depends on you if you can forgive the affair I had with Molly. What? You forgive the affair, accept the baby, and give our marriage another chance. What, have you back? 
We've done it before. For a start, clean slate. Oh, no, no. You think just because I went a bit far trying to defend myself that you can crack a smug grin and worm your way back into this family? Look, I will do anything to make this marriage work, will you? Oh, you make it sound like you're the injured party here. Oh, come on. We've both made mistakes, but we don't have to throw it all away. We can be good together. Oh, no, no. I have barely had a handful of good days since that tram crashed. And those were the days when you weren't here. That's what I want. I want you out of my life. OK, we both know where we stand. But remember, you had the chance to stop all this. I suggest you get a good lawyer. He got up to grade seven on the piano, but he never kept it up. Huh. Did you know he could play the piano, too? No, I didn't. Um, listen, Joy. Do you really... play a musical instrument? Oh, well, I, uh, I scratched a violin for a year or two, but no, not really. You know what upsets me most? What? He doesn't know that time is running out. I won't be around for much longer. Maybe if Colin knew I was dying, maybe he'd get in touch. Hey, do you know what? I, I am so daft. I think I've still got his old mobile number. But I thought you yeah, said... Well, he, he changed his mobile, but, but he kept his old one going in, in case he got any messages. I remember now because I, I was leaving him messages on it for ages. And the last time I spoke to him, he was still getting messages. He just couldn't make outgoing calls on it. So maybe you could leave him a message and with a bit of luck he might get it. So I could leave him a message? Yeah. No, 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 no. it's not the same as being able to talk no, to him. No, no, but I'd like to leave him a message. Great. It's good to see you smile. <laughs> What's the number? The number, oh yeah, um, is um, 07700 You know it off by heart. Yes. Yeah. Um, because we were always texting each other at work. We are worse than the kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> will you write it down for me? Yes, of course I will. Yeah. There you go. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to phone him now. No, 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 don't do that. Why not? Well, um, because of, um, it's Canada, the time difference. Well, what time is it in Canada, then? I don't know, uh, but I'm, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to call until after dark. Even if you're just going to leave a message? That's what they say. I should leave it until after dark. Yes. You've been so kind to me. So kind. You got everything you need? Yeah. You know, I'm sure I snogged his brother. Shh. Sorry to have inconvenienced you. No problem. Now maybe you'd like to get out of my house. Why are you doing this, Dad? I'm doing what I have to. Well, you don't have to do anything. We're not made of money. I can't afford two houses, two cars. I've got a baby. I'm responsible. Look, I know I made mistakes, but trust me, no one's completely innocent in this family. Will you get out now, please? One minute. I love you both. I tried to make it work with your mum, but she doesn't want me here. Ah, that's the first bit of truth I've heard from your lips in a long time. Yeah, well, no more lies. My priority is the baby. He needs a proper house. He needs security. So I'm sorry, girls. This divorce will probably get nasty. I'll always love you. But I've got to look to the future, which is me and Jack. Your mum can look after herself. She's lying. It's what she does. It's what she's best at. You have no alibi. Well, I didn't think I was going to be needing one. See... I didn't know Tracy was going to get thumped because I didn't thump her. So Tracy's lying? She hates me because I'm with Steve. Let's talk about Amy. Why? Why do you want to talk about Amy again? Because I'm pretty sure she didn't do it. You and Steve had custody of Amy while Tracy was in prison. Listen, we've been through all this, but as much as I hate Tracy, it's never fair to make a kid suffer. And there's Max, who is my sister's boy. And she's on holiday. She'll be back soon. 
seem pretty confident you're going to walk away from all this. That's because I'm innocent. I never hit Tracy. Really? Read my lips now. I haven't done anything wrong. Let's go back to the situation with the kids. Oh, my. Have you to see you. Bye-bye. Go on, admit it. Miguel has magic fingers. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I found him in a boutique hotel in Santiago de Compostela. How long is this going to take longer? Relax. Put yourself entirely in my hands. I'm not sure about that. Why don't you trust me? I don't trust you, Claudia, because you are planning to buy the butcher shop in Victoria Street and open up a rival salon. No, no, I've given up on all that. Place okay, smelled of meat. <laughs> well, it was a butcher's. No, I've had a much better idea. Why don't you retire and sell me your salon? What? Oh, you don't have to answer me now. Just think about it. I don't need to think about it, thank you. No, never, ever. No, end of story. Thank you and good night. You should be taking things easy at your age. You don't want any more stress in your life, particularly after that nasty business with Lewis. No, why don't you sell to me now before some other gigolo tries to run off with all your money? Do you know I knew you had a hidden agenda, Claudia? What's hidden? But friends, we don't hide things from each other. Lady Armdale Douglas. Oh, excuse me, I won't be a minute. Barbara, hello, how are you? Oh, I think we've so been abandoned. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, between you and me, they are a bit slapdash here. Really? Yes. This is my first time. You, you're a regular. Oh, no, no, it's my first time, no. But I am in the trade. I uh, have my own salon. I won this in a competition. The booby prize. It's that bad. My wife always used to come here. She said they were great. And they do men. Uh, she died a few months ago. Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> it's not being easy. I still feel the need to tell people. I thought I'd treat myself to a fancy haircut. Now I'm thinking maybe I should leg it while I've got the chance. Oh, no. I'm sure it'll be fine. Please stay put. Claudia would kill me if she thought I was scaring off her customers. Claudia? Um, the owner. We're friends. Oh. I'm Mark. Oh, hi. Uh, Audra. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Only hurts when I laugh. I'm sorry. Can we talk? Come through. It's Nick from the bookies. Oh. Oh, hi, Nick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was just doing a bit of washing before I go back to the hospital. It's amazing how quickly you run out of clean clothes. John, yeah. Uh, I don't know. He was at the hospital with me earlier. Yeah, I'll tell him. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Got here all again. Not been in all morning. Nick's not happy. He's unreliable. I wouldn't employ him. Hey! We're going through a tough time right now. I don't need this. I'm living at the hospital. I don't know whether my baby is going to survive from one day to the next. A bit of support would be nice. I'm sorry. Oh, come here. No, I'm sorry and all. I shouldn't be snapping at you. Yeah, you should. That's my baby niece in there, and I should be helping, not sniping. He wants a divorce, and he reckons he should have the lion's share of everything because he's got a baby to take care of. He's only got Jack because he had an affair with my wife. Cheated on us. He said that he's taken my name off the paperwork in the garage. I've checked. He's frozen all our bank accounts. I've got the money in my purse, and that's it. I've got to open a bank account just to get me wages. You can't do that. Well, he's done it. You better watch out and all because he wants everything and he doesn't care who gets hurt. Does he still think that we're... No, no, I told him the truth. That we didn't, you know, and he suggested that we should try again, that I should let him come back into the house and accept the baby. Well, what did you say? I said no, I, I don't want him. I don't want to see that arrogant, smug face ever again. So you're going to get a divorce? Well, it's what he wants. Yeah, but is it what you want? Yes, it is. 
divorced too in War of the Websters. So is your yes, salon unisex? Oof, do you not hate the word unisex? It sounds, I don't know, all grubby and biological at the same time. <laughs> It's not exactly cool. Not at all. I always want to say unicycle. <laughs> it's one of the bicycles that clowns ride, eh? But if men didn't know they were welcome, then they wouldn't come in to have their hair cut. Well, no, I have a pretty regular clientele, you know. Um, they know me, I know them. Most of the women, but we do have the odd distinguished it is wish I'd gone to your place instead of coming Listen, in. Listen, if you're not yeah. happy with Nigel, you I'll come round to mine and I'll tidy you up on the house. That's a yes, tempting up. No, I mean it. Hey, don't yes. tell Claudia. Of course you. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that, but when the lady calls, we all bow and scrape. <laughs> We're all dried out now. Really? No, still damp. So, have you two been getting on? Like a house on fire. Now, where were we? Let's see. A uh, bit of body here and table at the back. Whatever you think. Right. Here we go. You sly old fox. What? And if you're alone for two minutes and you're shutting up my clients. Claudia, I have absolutely no interest in your clients. His wife died a few months ago. I think he needs a shoulder to cry on. Well, he's not having either of mine. Oh, so you don't mind if I... Oh, hello. Now who's a sly old fox, huh? Less of the old, thank you. Well, he's handsome, he's got a few bob, and he's on the market. You know, you're not a fox, you're a shark. You want him, Claudia, you have him. Good luck. Luck has very little to do with it. Oh, and while I'm picking up things you don't want, how about selling me your salon? No! Come. Well, you can't blame a girl for trying. For a minute there, we thought you might have brain damage. No fear of that. My brain's in perfect condition. Never been used. Uh, that's nothing to be proud of. I'm joking. I use my brain all the time. Never make a move without it. Yeah, and look where it's got you. Hey, it's not my brain you should be worried about. It's that crazy brain inside the head of Becky MacDonald. OK, I'm sorry. You're not going to like this, but I have to say it. Are you 100% sure it was Becky that attacked you? I don't believe you. I mean, maybe you didn't see. Maybe your memory isn't completely clear. Or maybe, you know, damn well she didn't do it, but wanted to land her in a whole heap of trouble. OK, now I'm sorry, but I have to say this. Ken, shut up. Thanks, Mum. Why would she lie? If it was somebody else, then they'll still be out there, and they obviously don't like her. I know Tracy's no angel, but that doesn't mean she doesn't deserve our support. And if you don't feel you can give it, then you... Well, you might as well go home. I had to ask. I wanted to be wrong. Hello, your call cannot be taken at the moment. Please leave your message after the tone. Hi Gary, Matt Edwards to you physio. Hope you're keeping up with the exercises. You missed an appointment this morning. Call me back. If you need to talk about it, you can catch me on your mobile. Cheers. Bye. Message deleted. End of messages. Come on, Chess, we're going! Hiya. Oh, there you are! Where have you been? Sorry, I went to see Joy and got stuck. Oh. Oh. Do I want to upgrade my handset? No, I don't. Uh, Nick's been on the phone. Didn't sound too happy. I, uh, I've seen Nick and uh, apologised, do you understand? Where are you going? We're going to get some chips and back to the hospital. Oh. Chess is coming too. Well, I'll just sort myself out and then I'll meet you up there. Are you coming with us? Yeah, we can wait if you like. No, I'm fine. Come here, you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, come on, I'm starving. Oh, come on then. <laughs> right. right. See you later. See you later. <laughs> it's after dark.
Perhaps only a few weeks. It would be nice to speak to you. If you're not too busy. <laughs> Sorry. This is the duck driving home in the truck. Leaving the frog, the sheep and the goat stuck in the muck. <laughs> Freddy loves that book. Just spotted two boys sneaking a football upstairs. Sorry, I'll sort them out. Go on, mate. You can watch TV for two minutes and then it's bed. <sighs> Any news, mate? They're keeping her overnight for questioning. You think you've got it tough? I've got to spend all day tomorrow chauffeuring round Wifebee to Chris. Okay, you win. Thank you. What about him? What about him? I don't mean to make things worse, but you know, if the police find out what's been going on, how you paid Kylie cash to keep the kid, it could be both of you in the cells tomorrow night. You just made things worse. length DVD exclusive Coronation Street and Knight's Tale is available now. Next, a guest spot on Penn and Teller's Las Vegas show for the magician that can successfully trick them. Penn and Teller Fool Us is coming up.